I restore films? My first response is, how could we not? Films are not just legal properties. They are our common cultural heritage. Film preservation and restoration is important because we're preserving history. It's the creativity, the art, the sweat of people in front of the camera and behind the camera. Understanding the past of where we come from and understanding the stories that have been told before us, it's so essential. Imagine if each generation has to stop and start itself and you don't get to build on what's been learned before you. Warner Brothers has a history of preserving their library, and it's part of the legacy, especially given that we have upwards of 6,000 feature films. He's looking at you, kid. I feel it's crucial to restore and revisit the acknowledged classics, but the same goes for films that are somewhat passed over by the official history, that speak to us from their own moments with power and eloquence. For the 100th anniversary, we've partnered with the Film Foundation and restored 10 films. The new masters that we made are so beautiful. And now, now let's get rolling! Warner Brothers Discovery and the Film Foundation have had a long-standing relationship via Turner Classic Movies. And then in 2022, they expanded that partnership, starting with the 4K restoration of Giant. Beautiful. After the new partnership was announced, I got a call asking if I could put together a list of titles for the Film Foundation to look at to potentially highlight as part of the WB 100th anniversary. And we started looking into the library at what really was in need of some restoration. The first piece of criteria was what titles were still in standard definition. And then we started looking at, okay, if this is the WB 100th anniversary, let's look at an expanse of titles. Let's look at the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. Let's look at a combination of different directors, of different genres. We have cinemascope epics. We have pre-code films. We have westerns. We have dramas. We even have Paul Newman's directorial debut. And a lot of those titles in standard definition, the materials were in less than ideal shape. So that's why it was a collaboration between myself and Daphne Dunson Mastering, because we wanted to look not just at what titles were there, but also what did they look like. You want a closer look? What's involved in a digital restoration, the preservation team, they begin researching the assets to find the best film element to scan. We'll do either a 4K or an 8K preservation scan of the material. From there, the material's color corrected. The material then moves to restoration. We're cleaning dirt and scratches and anomalies. We also research and identify new assets for the audio. That is then also clean, and that then is married to the new picture. The other part to the restoration, which is my favorite part, is making all the new deliverables. And that's everything from new home entertainment deliverables. We'll even make new digital cinema masters because we're finding that people actually like to see these films in the theater, which is so exciting. Forgive me if I'm going poetic on you, but life is wonderful, Dan. One of the great things about partnering with the Film Foundation on these restorations is that we all understand what an honor it is to be the caretaker of people's life's work. And for young filmmakers in, in particular, seeing films from the past gives them a very special window on the way to view the present and a path, of course, to the future. There's just so many great films in this library. And every time we start a restoration and we start looking at the material, we get excited all over again. We're all invested in making the material look as beautiful and sound as beautiful as it could possibly be. Look at that stove. It's being planted, it's so bright. East of Eden is one of my favorites of Elia Kazan's films and the restoration has really brought it to life. The idea that a film like this disappears is beyond tragic to me. These 10 restorations, they're such a fit way of celebrating the 100th anniversary of Warner Brothers, a studio that really has produced so many great pictures. 
what is remembered is forever young. Each film, we learn something and we get better at it. And it's something that we all don't take lightly and we all just feel truly, truly grateful to be a part of. once ruled these city streets. And 76 trombones led the big parade. Where a calamity named Jane and a strawberry blonde strutted their stuff. Enjoy the show! And swashbucklers and superheroes saved the day. It's the most famous backlot in the world. Where 100 years ago... Four brothers cast a spell... That's kept us in our seats ever since. Wait a minute. Looking at you, Warner Brothers. We are here on the Warner Brothers lot. 100 years of a movie legacy that this represents. This is pretty awesome. We think about how much innovation took place at Warner Brothers from one of the first complete talking pictures with the jazz singer through to Wonder Woman. When you're here on the lot, I think you feel the ghosts of the past. Absolutely. And it's just quality for 100 years. <laughs> Busby Berkeley, Doris Day, Clint Eastwood, Beetlejuice. <laughs> Nobody says the B word. <laughs> Very disparate kinds of films and genres, but what ties them together is just how memorable they are and how they all stand the test of time. When we're walking around the lot, it's like, I think I'm into John Garfield. <laughs> and then, wait, wait, was that Olivia de Havilland? Oh, and yeah. is that Betty Davis storming to Jack Warner's office? Exactly. How long are you going to keep me in this place? Would you mind if we asked you a few questions? <laughs> it has that feeling as you're going through the back lot. Every sound stage and everywhere you look, you're just recognizing not just one or two films, but the layers of history are speaking to you here. Hello. If you think those other chain gangs are tough, wait till you get a load of this joint. I said it was a matter of honor. Right from the start, there were movies with something to say. This is the signature movie studio uh, in Hollywood. Uh, it was just on Brownstone Street, which is the oldest neighborhood in this lot. How are those not real brownstones? It's a reminder constantly of the collaborative process of movie making. Which one of these holes I look in? We give all this attention, understandably, to stars, directors. Occasionally, we'll throw a bone to a writer. You mean you want to know what's going on in my mind? Here. But man, the people built this, right? It takes my breath away every single time. It's the building of the dream factory. I say you're in the ante room of the unconscious, Ooh. waiting for the dreams to happen. You know? <laughs> from the golden age of Hollywood and beyond paved the way for the Classics Made Here tour on the storied Warner Brothers lot. And now we'll go to the 
special effects department. Take an expertly guided trip through the bustling back lot. Explore the iconic filming locations of Hollywood's most memorable and award-winning stories from Warner Brothers' earliest days to today. Plan your visit now. Go to WBStudioTour.com.